Leadville, Colorado, sitting at an elevation of over 10,000 feet. It is the highest city in the United States, not to be confused with the highest town. It is an old iconic western mining town surrounded by Colorado's highest peaks. It is easy to see why people are drawn to visit this place. So if you want to visit, here are the top 10 things to do in and around the town of Leadville. Now let's get to it. Climb Colorado's highest peak, Mount Albert. For being the highest peak in Colorado, it isn't the hardest. In fact, it's on the easier side. Plus, you are surrounded by amazing views the whole way up. A lot of this footage was taken from Mount Massive, Colorado's second highest peak, sitting right next to Mount Albert, as I lost most of the footage from hiking Mount Albert over 10 years ago. Also, I do recommend hiking Massive. It might not be the tallest, but I do think it is a more beautiful hike. If you're into history, old mining ruins, or ghost towns, Leadville is the place to check out. You're going to find most of the mine ruins east of town, and you can see a lot of them in the Iowa Gulch area, or taking the Mineral Belt Trail, which is a walking or biking trail that goes around these mine ruins. If you want something a little more structured, there are old mines that give you tours here as well. One of the cool things about this town is its iconic Main Street with many of the original buildings, like the old Opera House. It's also home to the popular Melazzani shirt, which they manufacture and sell right on Main Street. But there's also a lot of festivals that take place on Main Street as well, such as boom days or ski drawing, where someone on skis is pulled down Main Street behind a horse while collecting rings and hitting jumps. Really unique event to check out. The Leadville Railroad in town offers train rides daily throughout the year. The train ride will take you high above the upper Arkansas Valley, and my favorite time to go would be in spring to see the wildflowers, or in autumn to enjoy the changing colors of the aspen trees. Speaking of autumn colors, be sure to subscribe as I have a video coming out later this year about the best places to see autumn colors in the state of Colorado. Plus pretty much everything Colorado you can think of, like the best waterfalls, alpine lakes, hot springs, etc. So let's get back to it. Not far from town, you're going to find the Twin Lakes, a beautiful set of lakes surrounded by amazing scenery. These lakes are great for water activities such as kayaking or fishing, but my favorite thing to do here is to take the Interlochen Trail on the south side of the lake to the abandoned Interlochen Resort. This old resort is well preserved and surrounded by dramatic views. Now if you want something a bit more challenging, I would suggest checking out Missouri Lakes in the Holy Cross Wilderness. You'll also find a few other alpine lakes here. It is a very beautiful area and a lot of these lakes are pretty challenging to get to. Another cool area to check out is the Turquoise Lake area. Turquoise Lake has plenty of water activities to offer as well. And around the lake you're going to find some great trails and campgrounds. One of my favorite hikes here is to the old Hagerman Railroad Tunnel. And the hike there is surrounded by wildflowers and alpine lakes. Also driving over Hagerman Pass to the town of Basalt is a pretty easy 4x4 route. That brings me into my next one, off-roading. Hagerman Pass is probably one of the easier ones around here. Another one on the easier side would be Weston Pass, and then you have Mosquito Pass as well, both of them going over into Alma. And one of the more difficult roads you'll find here is the one into Holy Cross City. It's a pretty gnarly route. Also, Holy Cross City is really cool to check out, and if you can't drive there, well, just hike there. It's pretty cool. The next would be the Four Bay area, and this reservoir sits right above Twin Lakes. Around it, you're going to find a few drives with some really good views, and this is an awesome place to check out in the autumn season. And last, we have the historic fish hatchery. You're welcome to explore and check out this fish hatchery, which is still used to stock the lakes and streams in Colorado. Plus, around the fish hatchery, you're going to find some cool trails and some nice picnic areas. Thanks for staying till the end. I make videos exclusively about Colorado, so whatever area you're looking into, I've got it, or it's coming out soon, or if you're looking into the best waterfalls, hot springs, whatever, I have it. So check out the channel, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching.